At HANDS, we aspire to be the leader in affordable housing, developing and providing sustainable homes and improving the quality of life in our community. Our thoughtful services revolve around the specific needs of each property and increase the likelihood of the success of our residents. Our success will create better environments for the neighborhoods we serve. We work tirelessly every day to fulfill our mission of making stronger and more vibrant neighborhoods. After nearly 55 years, our commitment remains steadfast to serve members of the community, including those individuals living with disabilities, senior citizens, and families or individuals who can benefit from quality, affordable housing. There's an old phrase that says, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And tough times are not. We've made significant progress this past year to further the HANDS mission. We adopted a new five-year strategic plan. We welcome new families to housing we developed in the R West Bayfront neighborhood. We closed on financing and broke ground on a multi-million dollar development by the name of Midtown Revitalization. Development continued at Boston Store Place. The supportive services that we offered gained significant attention during the response to the pandemic. And all the while, our property managers maintenance technicians and office staff continued to provide and maintain quality affordable housing to over 1,000 families as they balanced new challenges. Tough times or not, the grit and determination of our employees and board of directors has propelled us to make great strides this past year. What we do makes a huge difference in the lives of our residents. We bring hope to those who may otherwise struggle this is the reason that we at HANDS are so committed to making such a positive impact. As a member of the Sisters of St. Joseph, it is, it's a good feeling for me to be part of this, of HANDS. We have been a part of it since the very beginning. Uh, one of our sisters worked with the original board members, we have had a sister or two on the board since its formation. HANDS started in the mid-60s, helping people who were having difficulty getting the down payment to purchase a home. A group of people went to churches and asked for money, and that first year they were able to help nine people purchase a home. Within two years, the board grew to 28 members. Over the years, HANDS has developed over 1,400 housing units for people in nine different counties in Pennsylvania. I think the residents that live in HANDS buildings make the community a better place because they are happier. And when you have people that are happy, they project that and it is contagious. I think because the Hands residents have a safe place to live and they are comfortable, I think they can go out to the greater community and then they will help others. I hope that Hands would be around for many, many, many more years and continue to grow so that we have more people giving help than people needing help. I've been part of the organization on the board for, like I said, the last nine years. I've been on a lot of boards, but this one is particularly special to me because it's really been about recognizing what's needed in the community and where there are opportunities to really dive in and find a property or develop a property, um, whether it's from the ground up or an existing structure. In, in my time, um, they've, they've had to move into a new facility on, uh, and, they, and they chose downtown Erie because they believe in, in what's happening in downtown Erie. So several years ago, uh, they chose to move into um, the 7th, 7th and State Street property, uh, which has been a great move, all right, and was really uh, needed for the growth of the organization internally. Um, but in addition to that, they never lost sight of developing properties, and um, some of those larger properties are of course, the Boston store, 
which was a huge success and continues to you know, be successful. Uh, and also this Midtown Revitalization Project, which is going on on um, Parade and uh, 14th, uh, and also Holland and um, 13th and 12th, so it's a scattered site project, but people recognize that the Boston store is a, is a focal point for us. I mean, everybody talks about the clock, right? Um, and I think everybody was extremely happy about the fact that the ownership of that came back to Erie. The community see us in the, in, in, in the light that they see us in now, which is we build great properties. We provide housing for, for, for people throughout our community. So hopefully the city sees us that way and that, you know, if they're philanthropically minded, that they would contribute to, to Hans uh, to, help our, to help our cause, to help make Erie a better place to live or our, 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 the communities in which Hans um, supports uh, make, those, make those community communities a little better place. If you drive by any Hans property, you're going to say that that's a good looking property. All right, it's well maintained, it looks good from the street, it, it is well taken care of when you're in the house. So um, I think it's a great example uh, to show people as, a, you know, as, as members of the community are looking in at us. Um, they should be very pleased at what they see. Charles R. and Catherine L. Scalise Community Service Award is given to an individual who has exemplified Hans core values throughout the year. The award honors an individual that has demonstrated exceptional leadership within our local community and who has made a demonstrable difference or significant contribution. The Hans Board of Directors is honored to be presenting this award to Dr. Keith Taylor. Dr. Taylor serves the Erie community as president of Gannon University. Prior to his appointment as president in 2011, he served as Gannon's provost and vice president for academic affairs since 2005. During his tenure, Gannon has not only increased its enrollment, but has added new strategic academic programs to meet current and future market needs of the Erie area and broaden the community focus to a global perspective. His presidential leadership has instituted the Erie Gaines and the Our West Bayfront Neighborhood Revitalization Programs. In addition, Dr. Taylor's regional volunteer work includes serving on the boards of the Erie Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership, UPMC Hammett Medical Center, United Way of Erie County, the Erie Downtown Development Corporation, and the Erie Downtown Partnership. While all these accomplishments are very impressive, also very impressive is the kindness and heart Dr. Taylor shows in his daily interactions. Before I call Dr. Taylor up to accept his award, I would like to share a quick personal story with you. Two years ago, Gannon University hosted the renowned author, Doris Kearns Goodwin, as part of the Jefferson Educational Society's Distinguished Lecture Series. I was invited by Gannon to attend the lecture. As you might expect, Doris Kearns Goodwin was fantastic. After her presentation, she agreed to autograph copies of her most recent best-selling book. So naturally, I got in line to get an autographed copy. While in line, Dr. Taylor came over to an older gentleman who was using a walker and noticed that one of his shoes had become untied. Keith Taylor yes, the university president, bent down and tied that gentleman's shoe. What an unselfish act by a good Samaritan. How did I happen to observe that random act of kindness, you ask? Well, it was my shoe. Yes, it was I that evening, using that walker, as a result of a knee injury and whose shoe had become untied. I was truly grateful then, as I am now. And I have been waiting two years to tell this story. Thank you, Keith Taylor. On behalf of the Hands Board of Directors, please accept the 2020 Charles R. and Catherine L. Scalise Community Service Award, and congratulations. First, I want to sincerely thank Bill Steger and Matthew Good and the entire Hands Board for nominating me and granting me this very special award. I have to admit that Bill's comments and his story about tying his shoe 
And doing those little things does remind me of what a great community we have, what a great man Bill is, and what an honor it is to do those little things in our community. I am much more comfortable giving awards than I am receiving them. And I also believe that this honor is a better reflection of the kindness and the busy hands of so many that join in the daily work of transforming the lives and improving the living environments of others across our community. I was truly surprised and humbled when I received the call from Matt to tell me about the nomination. It has been my wife Mary and I who've been the ones who are so incredibly blessed to have the privilege to serve the Gannett family, to serve our neighbors in our West Bayfront, and participate in the development efforts in downtown Erie for the past 15 years. The Taylor family and the Gannon family are fully committed to making stronger, more vibrant neighborhoods. The goal that is at the heart of the work of the terrific Hands team. We share that passion and are so impressed and grateful for the important work Hands does across our region. I also could not be more proud of the ongoing contributions our Gannon University students, faculty, staff, and alumni are making to transform those neighborhoods and improve the lives of each person who calls Erie's West Bayfront home. Gannon's Our West Bayfront and Erie Gaines initiatives are at the heart of our mission and reveal our Catholic tradition valuing faith, leadership, inclusiveness, and social responsibility. It is my and our honor and responsibility to serve our neighbors and a precious blessing to be able to live among so many wonderful people here in our downtown Erie home. Again, thank you for this incredible honor and I could not be more proud than to have my name and our work connected with hands and the betterment of our community. At Hands, we are inclusive. Diverse viewpoints and opinions are invited and welcomed from residents, staff, board members, and the community, and are considered during decision making. Hands is responsive. Responding to coworkers, residents, and the public is a sign of respect and is done in a timely manner. At Hands, we are hospitable. Residents and guests are welcome and treated with respect, and are given consideration for our time and resources. Here at HANS, we are proactive. Needs and problems are anticipated and solutions are developed in advance of a crisis or a gap in service and contingency plans are in place to minimize the impact on residents, staff, and the community. At HANS, we are neighborly. Action is taken inside and out of our buildings affect our residents and surroundings. Neighbors and the impact is considered before acting. At HANDS, we are good stewards. Human and capital resources are valued and treated with respect. People are treated with dignity and are taken care of as if they are family. Financial resources and property are used wisely and prudently and are taken care of as if we own them personally. Today, HANDS remains a constant to the people of Erie County committed to making stronger and more vibrant neighborhoods and communities. It's because of our combined efforts that many of our most vulnerable community members have safe, reliable, and affordable housing. We see children doing exceptional in school. We see our seniors enjoying their retirement. We see families growing. We see happiness and hope. HANDS is more than just a portfolio of properties. We are truly one family, committed to the success of each other and the greater community at large. We welcome the community's support, both financially and through volunteer service, in order to see our success continue to grow and thrive. If you or your family need safe, affordable housing, or if you can contribute to help our fellow community members, please visit us online or call 814-453-3333. Three, three.